I'm recording this episode 10 seconds after the last episode. But I just ate a peeper and I'm ready to and raring to go. Let's go over to where Architect Artifact Z13 is and see what we can find over there. I assume my sea truck is probably finished. Yep. Let's go! Reattach it. Get in the sea truck. Oi. Huh. Interesting. It's like it's some kind of canyon. Tech technology power cable. Wonder where that goes. Towards our artifact, apparently. Oh, wow. Oh, Altera's definitely been here. I can drop my prawn suit on this ledge. Let's see. Uh, does not look like it worked. <laughs> no. Okay, let's see. Interesting area. Why are there ropes here? This guy can't take the prawn in here. We'll leave it right here. Ow. Fever pepper. Ooh. Why, thank you. I already scanned this, right? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Energy generator? Wow. Interesting. I am kind of low on silver. Is 
This is great. I'm low on the ion cubes, too. Because I had to use so many of them to make the power cells for my sea truck. Huh. Okay, well. I mean, cool looking. Not much really here, though. So I found out the hard way, with some off-screen experimentation, that the prawn suit jump jets and the prawn suit grapple arm are both essentially worthless when it comes to being outside the water. Like, let's say I'd like to go up on that ledge, right? You think I could just grapple? Nah. And even if I use my jump jets, just weak. Shit is just weak. That's all there is to it. So they're basically no help at all outside of the water. Hmm. Interesting. cable again. I guess from their energy bank they just ran cables to power things. It's neat and all, but I don't see it getting me any closer to the architect organs that I need. and all this just dumps me right back into the ocean. I don't think there's anything interesting down there. Maybe on the other side of the bridge there's a more interesting area? See if I can make this jump. Yeah, only barely though. And only because I started at a higher elevation than I landed at. Oh, <laughs> that's the cave we were just in with the power bank. I mean, you'd think, like, even something like this that you could just grapple up to it, right? Can't do shit. I'll go check out that stuff in a second. I want to see what's up with the bridge. Oh. 
Why? Water's good, like water. Hey, hello, Dawn. Welcome aboard, Captain. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Otera, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so, yes. Okay. Could be a body part out there. Uh, red lights don't look good. What is this, like a pop cam? Maintenance access point panel. Requires hydraulic fluid. Well, what about these three cans of hydraulic fluid? Check fluid levels. Uh, it's got a fluid level sensor. Ruptured hydraulic fluid can. Hydraulic fluid, creep vine seed cluster, and gel sac times four. Wow. Okay. And this is under advanced materials? Which I assume means we're going to need a constructor to make it. I didn't make the sea truck fabricator module because I didn't think I was going to need it. I guess I'm going all the way back to base just to make this. Unless I can maybe... I really don't think the prawn suit is going to make that. I mean, let's try it because why not, but... No, I didn't think so. See, you can jump gaps when you're jumping from a higher place to a lower place, but the prawn suit always loses altitude. It really can't jump up. Yeah, whatever, let's check this out while we're here. See a PDA down here. Kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something. Almost like an SOS. At Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. <laughs> Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to a man Max, you're a good friend. You might be asking yourself, why is this guy going in the prawn suit everywhere? And the answer is, if I don't take the prawn suit, I'll frickin' freeze. The prawn suit is my portable heater that keeps me from freezing to death. I... Or does this just go back up to the bridge up here? Yeah. And it goes to the bridge. Just take a quick look. Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Really? Unique identifier. Fire robotics center. Uh, hang on. By robotics would mean we're like right here. So this little inlet was where we came in. The little power bank is right here. And we're getting close to Phi. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, 
Oh, wow. It's built into the side of the mountain. It's weird. Okay, well, life finds a way, as Dr. Malcolm said. It's actually beautiful here when the weather's not total shit. At least I'm not going to die of thirst. Ah, oh, hell. So nice while it lasted. All two seconds of it. Eh. Five robotics. This is where Sam works. answers, maybe? Huh. New blueprint synthesized. Interesting. It's like a docking thing for the snow fox. Seems to be reasonably warm in here, so... Oh, well. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter now since I've had the moon pool forever, but... Sure, why not? Ooh, space heater. Can I have one of those? Hmm. Fire administration. <laughs> A new kitty hang in there poster. Huh. That's cool. A friend. Spy Pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen Leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen Leviathan. I investigated and- You I investigated? When? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. <laughs> anyway, I've inappropriate? looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. 
It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now. You're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> can we play the game now? Fine. It looks like Sam wanted some help killing the Corral once and for all. Seems like a smart maneuver to me. Doesn't seem like anybody else wanted to help, though. And why not? Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Oh. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. I think that's the broken door we couldn't get through in the other module. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive. Two out of three. Bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down cool. there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... Like a hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. Combined with a frozen water sauce, water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Good to know, but I think I can bring many, many liters of water in the storage in my prawn suit. A lot more interested in this glacial basin map. Seems like the yellow thing near the center is Phi. But what's that thing in the lower left circled in red? And are those trees? And a radio tower? Hmm. Looks like there's a lot more here than I thought. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Yeah, it was tossed. Like someone just threw everything wide open. you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Oh, interesting. It looks like I can actually build something that will keep me warm up here. Well, I mean, if it works better than the prawn suit. Nice aquarium. Life Pod 5, huh? Very interesting choice of, uh... Hmm. 
Anyone remember what was near Life Pad 5 in the original Subnautica? Because I don't. Hoverball. Kill the bunnies versus devils. <laughs> okay, why not? Practicing mindfulness as a leader. Okay. Well. I don't really see anything else. The map was certainly worth it. I do kind of wish I could build a fabricator here to make the hydraulic fluid, but looks like there's no power to this base. Something real big fell on it. Ooh! Architect teleport. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. Um... I don't really think I need the thermos, for that matter. I'm gonna hang on to the titanium just in case. I guess posters I could drop too. I'm not quite to the point where I can eat the food. Guess I can drink this. I guess they're giving me fiber mesh because maybe it's an ingredient for that suit. Yeah, cold suit helmet gloves. I need four fiber mesh total to make the cold suit, but I also need snow stalker fur. Huh. I don't suppose Marguerite would give me some Preston's fur, would she? Um, yeah, okay, interesting stuff, but yeah. Okay, um, yes, I have some ion cubes. Interesting. Now, in the previous Subnautica, some of these teleporters could be turned on just by throwing an ion cube in them. But I guess this isn't... This isn't one... Because usually... Primary and secondary gates. Primary gate controls the destination and must be powered. Primary gate is not functioning, the secondary gate is rendered useless. Yeah, so this is the secondary gate. Somewhere else actually ends up here. Okay, well, notes to self. Hmm. Not a lot of answers here. I was hoping for something more interesting. I mean, I guess we did learn about the frozen Leviathan. Frozen in the ice somewhere. Well, hmm. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we're here. There's the teleport gate. There's the bridge. And it looks like we can go through this to get somewhere. Maybe it brings us out over here. And there's something special about that because it's circled. This looks like a dock. All right, well, these mysteries will have to wait for next episode. Uh, let's go home, make some hydraulic fluid, open up the bridge. And then we'll come back and explore more around here and pay particular attention to this area. I'm really curious to know what's there. You know, if I'm going to be here a while, might not be the worst idea 
to build my own little base up here. Just so I could have a fabricator and other stuff. I'll have to think about that as I'm coming back. Maybe just a single large room. What kind of materials do I need for a large room? I feel like a single multi-purpose room or even just a single moon pool would be more than enough. Yeah, I think the moon pool is the smart move because that way I can recharge stuff. All right, so notes to self when we come back here next episode. We need to bring two lead. Let's just pin it. That's the easiest way to not forget. Away from home. Long way to get back home. You know, since the trip to that area is not a very long trip, there don't seem to be any hostile leviathans on the way. Maybe I should put those ion power cells currently in the sea truck in my prawn suit just to extend its range a little bit. Might be a way to carry the prawn suit around everywhere up there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Without having to throw away any more ion cubes on ion batteries. Oh crap. I'm out of lead. I'll have to farm some more lead before I can make the moon pool. Next episode.